A servant of God, I am Robert Simon. Beloved in Christ, loving greetings. Faith, we are continuing on the same topic, faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. In my last talk, I was dealing with the first part of this verse. Without faith, it is impossible to please God, or to gratify, or to make God happy and satisfied. God exists, I know. It is faith. It is the evidence or proof of the fact which is not seen. Trying to understand God is a futile effort. But understand with true and pure rationalism of an empirical principle and accept God exists. This is faith. Without this faith, it is impossible to gratify God. In my last talk with you, I said I would tell you a very fascinating anecdote that happened in my life many years ago to further explain this point. I probably was 23 years old at that time. A professor of English, he was a perfect gentleman with very high decorum and I were kept in a locked room by some toughies. And they were asking the professor to show them God with an intention to put us to shame. One of those aggressive young men who was mercilessly and heavily mocking at and ridiculing the professor uh, was seen to be the leader of the gang. I could understand that he was a student of engineering studies making sure he was with mathematics background. Breaking my long grave silence, I asked him a very simple question. Can you show me a point? He brutally laughed, pulled out a sheet of paper and a pencil and put a dot on the paper and insolently showed me, hey, here is the point. Gently I said, it's a circle, show me a point. Sharpen the pencil more, you'll get a point, said he, still with the same arrogance. Even then under a microscope, you will see only a circle. I want you to show me a point, I continued. What do you mean? A stone changed. A circle with zero radius. How, how can somebody on the earth show a circle with zero radius? He was puzzled and off the balance. Ah, that's the point I exclaimed. Then I knew it was with me, the time to play. Then I knew it was my time to play. Showing us a point is the point of contention now. You agree you can't show us a point. A line is the integration of points, points which cannot be seen, and a plane is the integration of lines, and space is the integration of planes, when you can't see a point or show a point, is there any point in understanding or explaining or believing a line, a plane or a space? One may have different definitions and theories to explain what a point is. Point, but it's an axiom. And I mentioned in my earlier talk, only an unlearned fool would try to prove an axiom or a postulate. On that day, that guy understood he could not understand. On that day, that guy understood he could not understand or define anything and everything. There is a maxim. When you understand that you can't understand, you understand. He is unable to show us a point and wanted us to show him God. Ridiculous. Faith, hence, is knowing with confidence and full assurance that God exists, though we don't see Him. Amen. Glorious faith. We shall, God willing, consider the second part of Hebrews 11.6 in my next talk with you. Till then, God bless you. God be with you. I am yours, Robert Simon.